Hey guys, it's Lee Lee back with another episode I don't want to do of Pikmin 2. This time we're going to be going to the submerged castle. I don't like this cave. It. So, as we know from last time when we unlocked it, we can only bring in blue Pikmin. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring in 45 blues. That's a good number. We don't want to bring too many. You don't want to max out your squad of blues, and that there's a great reason why. So, we're, all right, we're gonna go over here. I think the Wally Logs have. Uh, unless I. Oh. Uh. Oh, we lost one. Okay. Jeez. Okay. We may as well bring back some of this stuff. We'll regenerate more blues. I guess I'll just bring more because I'm worried I'm gonna lose a lot of Pikmin here. And I feel like I am. No, I know I am. Unless I restart a million times till I get the hang of it and then just... <laughs> but yeah, this cave is gonna be a pain. And those Pikmin 2 fans out here who are not new to the game... Know why. And know exactly what the issue is. Okay, we're gonna have like 58, which... Just fine, I guess. I might just. Yeah, 58 works, I guess. Oh, jeez, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to pluck. Yeah, we'll just. Yeah, you know, we'll just put them back so we have 45 out here. And now we can continue in peace. Hopefully, I don't think too many enemies respawned. We just didn't go here one day, so shouldn't be too many respawned enemies. I just real okay. That's very nice. I don't know why dwarf bull bears are here. They weren't even there before, so I guess they just randomly spawn. There's Glutton's Kitchen. The Skittle Leaf is swimming. Jeez. I, oh. Okay, I'm just gonna skip these enemies because I really don't care about fighting them. Especially water dumplets. They're not that as bad in this game as they are in Pikmin 1, but yeah. Okay. All hazards, but only one can come in with us. We'll see what we're gonna have to do about that. Here goes nothing. Oh, my pain has just begun. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice. I am willing to make. Oh, God. oh my God! Our suffering shall begin, shall we? Or shall it? Um, starting off here, we have literally tons of fire hazards. Okay, I'm tired. Are you? Are you that stupid? Nope. What if I stay here? Okay, and we're gonna use the ultra bitter spray, which will stone this guy. Kill him! 
Finally, dude. Okay. Now we're gonna try and clear out every geyser. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Jeez. Okay. Okay, our Pikmin are okay, jeez. All that hassle over a stupid fiery blowhog. Which would, uh, and we didn't even need to go this way. So we're just wasting time. And wasting time, not a good thing. In this cave. Oh. Got this bread thing. Or wood, I think it is, I don't know. It is okay, Pikmin. Okay, 15. What is it? Bug bait. those guys aren't gonna walk into the fire that's gonna be really stupid I think there's only three treasures on this floor which is good good thing I think that's the last treasure here and we can actually get the frick out of here. Pastry wheel. It is. Okay, dude, the amount of times I had to redo that, that was so annoying. Because I had such bad spawns where the fiery bulb orb would not walk into the water. Here we go. Next floor. This floor is probably the easiest floor in all of the cave. Okay, maybe I'm probably wrong on that, but uh, we're gonna deal with this annoying guy. I'm gonna swarm him. Still have a Pikmin. And that's how you deal with them. Then we'll go. Not that way. We need to go there later. And ooh, you can already you already got a sneak peek there of the next enemy we'll be dealing with. And this is a very special enemy. And this is a fan favorite enemy. And those Pikmin 2 fans out there will already know what this is. Okay. We'll go deal with him in a moment. We can't go there right now. We have to go get this treasure. Cause, just because there's a very special enemy there, down there that we want to get rid of. Doesn't mean that we forget that there's something very evil that's here to kill us that some of you new fans people who have never played pikmin 2 before are still wondering what is and why is it such a th big deal 
carry this. Oh, okay. Throw your Pikmin on top of him. Okay, this is a Bulbman. Right here. And there. Bulbers <laughs> come to us. The confused Bulbwerp has fallen in with the Pikmin. They appear to coexist peacefully. Strange. This Bulbwerp has a leaf sprouting from its spine, much like the leaf on a Pikmin's head. Yes. Introducing the Bulbman. Okay, we will. Oh, wait, no, we didn't lose one. This is the Bulbman. Yeah. This is. They are our saviors. Well. Add as much Pikmin onto this thing. <laughs> what just happened there? Alright, let's continue. So, they're immune to all hazards. And... Yeah, that's about it about them. So, yeah, they're basically immune to all hazards, which... This cape has all hazards, so that's gonna be very helpful, obviously. Up here, there's some... Fiery dweebles that... You wanna deal with as fast as you can. Obviously. Just make sure. All our guys are whistled here. Okay. And game, stop making weird cape noises that I don't like. Hold on, let's just make sure we didn't... Okay, we did. I had a feeling. Pokos. Comfort cookie. That's a cookie? What? I didn't even know that was a cookie. Doesn't look like one. Unless it is some Japan cookie or something I don't, that I don't know of. Okay. Wait for these guys to carry this back. Now... We have one more treasure, and I think we have, we're have we gonna be able to go without triggering what it is I'm scared of. I hope. Please, game. I really hope I don't jinx anything, because... This could go one or two ways. One bad way, and one good way. And this run's going really good. So I really hope it's the good way. Okay. This is a problem. Okay, throw, throw. Throw. I can't throw them. Dude, that's so stupid. That is the dumbest. That is the dumbest thing ever. You have got to be kidding me. You... Oh my god. Oh, I had to say it. What is this? I can see it with my optical receptors, but my sensors cannot detect it. Could its physical form be anchored in a in another dimension? Attacking it is futile. If only we could f force it to take to take on its physical form, but but in its current state, curza curcum danger danger. Yep. 
Introducing the Water Wraith. It is instant kill. And this Pikmin is gonna be instant kill. And the worst part is I, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Can we please Water Wraith? Yeah, it runs over your Pikmin. It is instant kill. And we want to be careful here. And we want to watch our Pikmin as they carry this treasure back. Be very careful. Okay. Please, Pikmin. Okay. That is the last treasure here. And now we need to GTFO. Come on. Okay. Okay, please just get the heck out of here. Okay. Wait, hold on. Yep, out of here. Out of here. I thought I was gonna go without triggering it, and we lost three Pikmin because the stupid thing was too high. That was the most annoying death ever. I should have just thrown one up, triggered it, it would have followed the Pikmin, came down, and we would have been able to kill it. 